Hi guys, Wardrums here, and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, I will give you some tips and tricks for the race event Big Fans. Big Fans is currently the newest race level added to Fall Guys in the mid season 2 update. It is a rather challenging race level that requires a lot of precise platforming. At the start of the level, you want to be very patient. A lot of people will try to get onto the first couple of fans, but this can get very chaotic and you can easily get knocked off even if you try to stay in the middle of a fan. Waiting around on a fan blade can also be a good idea, even though it may be slower than jumping or walking between fan blades. If you're lucky and get a front row spawn, you can go for the speed run by running between the platforms on the small beams connecting the fans. This is of course more easily done on the bigger fans where the beams are thicker. If you jump too early from a fan and bonk your head on a checkpoint platform, you can usually activate the checkpoint just like on the level seesaw. The next couple of sections is pretty straightforward as long as you don't get knocked off. Becoming confident at walking between the fans can be a very very good way of ensuring qualification. Small fans in the third section have smaller beams, so it's much harder to walk between them. Instead, consider jumping between the platforms, as the gaps are also smaller. Next up is the fans with the rotating poles. Learning the timing of these poles is absolute key if you want to have any hope of qualifying in this race level. As a rule of thumb, I have found that the hitbox of the poles seems to be larger than you would initially think. So wait around for just the right moment to jump over. If you time the changing of the platform correctly, you can often completely avoid the rotating pole by running in the same direction as the pole is spinning. This last tip is a little bit of a weird one. Since this level is so hard for a lot of people, the invisible timer will often run out, at least here in the first couple of days after release. Therefore, make sure to cross the finish line as soon as you have the chance, and don't linger around to try and stop others from qualifying, as this will usually be your downfall. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, let me know in the comments which map you would like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section of the video you didn't quite understand or you want me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums, you have been you. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day and a good life. Bye.